All right, so how? How are we going to find the equation of the line connecting 0, 1, and 1, 4? Well, I happen to know the equation to find the, four, the line based on actually what we have here. Oh, yeah? Okay. So I know it's the equation y equals mx plus b. Okay. The slope intercept form of the line. All right. So I'm going to have to I'm going to erase this over in this little corner over here. So we're, you're going to choose the equation of the line y equals mx plus b. So that is the slope and the intercept. Okay. Okay. Do you have you seen the, an equation of a line like this before? No. No, this is new. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, I didn't think you had seen this before, but we're gonna we're gonna see something. You're gonna learn something. Okay. All right. So, so this is called the slope, and that tells you how much the line is sort of tilting up, or maybe even tilting backwards if it's negative. Okay. So what are you gonna do from y equals m x plus b here? Well, the slope um, is the change in y over the change in x. Okay. So. I just need two points, and I have two points here. Uh -huh. So y, y changes, y gets bigger by three, uh -huh. and x gets bigger by one, so the slope of this line is three. Okay, so we're going to say y equals three x plus something. And this b is the value of y when x equals zero. Okay. So when x equals zero, this part does not matter. All right. So when x equals zero, um, y equals one. Okay. At that point, so y equals three x plus one huh. is our intercept here, or okay. our equation. Okay, so let's check. Since this is new for you, let's check that this works. What's the y value at this point here? One. And what's the x value? Zero. Does y equal three times x plus one at yeah. this point? Yes. All right. Now, how about here? So. It's so y four equals three x. It's three equals one is four. Cool. Yeah. So that's our equation of the line. Now, do we want to be above this line? Do we want y to be greater than three x plus one, or do we want y to be less than three x plus one? Oh, less. Okay. How could we check? Well, if we want, if we're getting, if y is less here than this. These points would be going down into here. Okay, yeah, that's good symmetric it's, intuition. If it's greater, it would be going out of the shape. All right, and there's one other way we can check. We'll just check point. All right, what point would you like to pick? And we can pick the point zero four. Okay, zero four, and is that going to be above the line or below the line? That's above our line. So, do we want that point to be included? We do not want this point. Okay, so let's check zero four, and what is the y value compared to the x value there at zero four? So the y value is going to be bigger than the x value. Okay, y is bigger than the x value. So now what is it compared to 3x plus 1? y is still bigger. Okay, so greater, y greater than 3x plus 1 is going to be up here above the line? Yeah. So then I just tell the computer, make it y equals less than 3x plus 1. Yeah. Okay, yep. and now we got the last one here, this last line connecting the points so, 1, 4. So this, I think the slope is going to be negative a third. Ah, okay, why? Well... Wow, you picked that up quick. So, the change in y here is 1, and the change in x is 3. Okay. So it's, it's 1 third, and it's going to be negative since it's sloping down. Okay, yeah. So the y value actually falls by 1, so it went from 4 to 3, so that's minus 1. And this one, the x value went from 1 to 4, so that's plus 3. Okay. So that is y equals minus 1 third x. Plus, now we still got to find that b, but the problem with on this one is we don't know where that intercept is. So how, what else could we do, do you think, to find the b here? Well, we could extend the line that way. Yeah, we could extend the line. You're right, we could extend it, but we actually do know some things on this line. What do we know already without extending anything on this line? We know a few things. Well, when you, ch when you go over 3, you go down 1. Yep, and that's the slope you found. But what else do you know on that line already? Don't worry, I know you know. I know you know. But your brother's seeing this for the first time. Hmm. There's two things that you know already that are on this line. So... What are they? 
The slope is negative a third. Yeah, well that's one thing you know. What's, what's another thing you know already about this line? You know some points on it. So there we have one four at some line. When x equals one, y equals four, and when x equals four, y equals three. Okay. Yeah. So what happens when I put in y equals four? So y equals four. So then that's going to say four equals negative a third x. Which so is that's what? A, th that? a third. No, no. X is what? X is. One. One. So what, four equals minus one third. So. Plus. Plus whatever. So four is. We want this to be a four four and a third here. For B. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So plus we'll say four and a third. We might. We could also say thirteen thirds if we wanted. And let's just check for the other point. So. Does three equal? So negative. Um, four thirds. Okay. Plus four and one third. One third. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So there's our line. And do you think I want to be above this line or below this line? Uh, below again. Okay, so let's check a point. Let's just check zero, zero. So this is below your line. Okay, it's below the line and zero is zero less than zero plus four thirds? Four and one third, I mean. Zero, yeah. Yeah, so we want it less than. Okay. So we, we go above this line, so over here, over here, below this, below this, and that's how I told the uh, computer to draw the Pentagon. It's cool. Yeah, it's really, so three of the five lines were easy. The two lines, I needed to make them have the same length. Yeah. And we found that point. And that was just lucky, because I just picked three and one without knowing much. But we, we, it made it work. And then we find the equations of those lines, and then the only other thing I have to do is make it a little bit thick. Right? Just because you don't want it to be. Yeah, so I think I said that z goes from 0 to 1 fourth, I think I said. It may have been a half, but I think it was a fourth. Okay. So there you go. So that's a little line review. And that's how I printed these pentagons. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty fun. And then, then we can have them, have them to play around with. Good work tonight, guys.